Hello, welcome. My name's Katie. I am gonna be your cook today, your pampered chef cook. Um, so welcome to my kitchen. This is my home kitchen. I've got all my stuff out. I'm sure I've forgotten something, but I wanted to have you tune in and come along with me as I make one of my family's most favorite and most requested dishes. So when I told them I was gonna be doing a demo around dinner time, uh, I got right away, orange chicken. And so I here we are, here we are. So before you got here, and I want to put this on before I forget that I've heated up the skillet. I've got cubed chicken. So I use the professional shears to cube up my, ki my kitchen chicken. My chicken. <laughs> All right. Um, so back here on my stove, if you can see it, I've got the 12, 12 inch nonstick stainless wok. It's nice and hot already. I've warmed it up. I love the nonstick stainless. It's, it's my favorite cookware. I have a glass top stove. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and put this on the hot skillet. I used a little bit of sesame oil because I love using that when I'm using like a, an Asian inspired dish. So there is our cubed chicken. Um, we're going to let that brown. You don't have to babysit it too much, but I am going to just spread it out. One of the best tips I think I ever got for cooking was heat up your skillet first made a huge difference in how good of a cook I was. And then the second, um, let your food spread out. So actually, even if you don't have a ton of mouths to feed, having a larger skillet's nice because your food can spread out and it doesn't like uh, sit on top of each other. So, all right, so we're getting cooking here. And uh, this is such a natural recipe for me that I'm probably gonna have to consciously be um, on to like re remind you of what I'm doing. Um, so before I get too into it, I do want to say that, um, so I, I'm recording this in March, um, and in March, when you become a consultant, you can bring people around the table with these products that you love for $25 as a consultant. Now we have other starter kits, and if you want to see this flyer up close, just say the word flyer and we'll get you a picture of it. Um, but there are four different kits typically, and then in March only, you can start with just like the startup box, you get an apron, not the one I'm wearing, but the Pamper Chef apron, um, the cup slicer, which is super fun. I think Erin showed that to you last week. And I'm gonna be using a ton of products that come in a selection of the different uh, kits. Now, I know that you, um, you probably aren't thinking, I gotta be a consultant today. Maybe you are, and I hope that's the truth. Um, but I know when I came to my first cooking demo, it was in person. And I really didn't, um, I didn't have, it was on my radar at all. I was not looking to be a consultant, had a full-time job, had a, 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 a newish baby at home. And I also had um, a, 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 like more debt than I was willing to admit to most people, right? So I, I was curious, but I also thought Pampered Chef just couldn't be for me because I just don't cook. And so one of my favorite perks of being a consultant is that I have gained so much confidence in the kitchen. I can talk and do at the same time. Now, I'm saying that and I'll probably eat my words here in a few minutes, but I really love that the confidence that I've gained inside the kitchen, uh, especially because I didn't know what was coming. I found out uh, in the last 13 years that I've been a consultant that my husband uh, has a very restrictive diet with his Crohn's disease. I can't tolerate dairy after I had kids and my daughter as well. Um, so we have all these specialty uh, dietary needs. And if I didn't have the confidence that I, like I have now to like, know I can learn how to cook or I can figure out how to do a specialty diet, I don't know what I would have done. It truly was a godsend that I built some confidence up before I found out for me at the time, devastating news. <laughs> I mean, who wants to give up cheese truly, right? All right, so it, I'm just gonna tell you the sauce before I forget. So I use any kind of teriyaki sauce. I had two versions, one was almost gone, so it doesn't matter what teriyaki sauce you use. I wouldn't use the Pampered Chef one because that one's good on its own. So grab the Pampered Chef honey one and use it on its own. This is just, um, a recipe that I got like off the back of a label like 20 years ago and I still use it. That teriyaki sauce has long gone. I can't find it anywhere, but thankfully the recipe still works. 
This is crushed red pepper, and you can leave this out, but I like it just because it cuts the sweetness a little bit. And speaking of sweetness, I've got some orange marmalade. I just, you know, the, the generic brand marmalade. I have not noticed that it matters at all when these ingredients come together. This is yummy orange chicken, all right? And I've even bought like the name brand and I like this recipe better. So it's, oh, and most people like to measure things. I don't have those. I did a half, about a half a cup here in my Easy Read measuring cup. I did about a half a cup of teriyaki sauce and that was probably like a little more than a fourth cup of marmalade. I just used the rest of what I had. And we're gonna definitely do some taste testing as well. All right, so I want to know, do you have some questions? Or like if you're a consultant watching right now, if, you've, if you have someone that has ever asked you a question like about the business, will you pop that into our chat? And I will answer those most frequently asked questions as we go along today. Um, okay, so going, the last ingredient here, I have sticky on my fingers, oh, that's the worst, is ground ginger. Again, I'm not measuring, uh, but when you do a recipe for like 20 years, you know what, I probably can find that little piece of paper and I will put a picture in it. Someone just type in the word recipe for me and that will remind me afterwards on to take a picture of that uh, little recipe. Now, okay, tell me, do you guys have those recipes that you like the recipe card itself or the book or whatever, it has like butter splats on it, or it's like you can tell it was used open by food. Like that is this recipe for me. Um, it has oil on it or something. Uh, I also have a German sugar cookie recipe that my girlfriend gave me and we make it every year for Christmas and like there's butter and flour and everything all over that. So, um, I mean, I guess we should sell some laminated covers. I don't know, but do you, you guys have that, right? Like you have those recipes. Those are the good ones. All right, so of course, the most important, we gotta taste test it. Mm. See, every time I like it, every time. I want more peppers. All right, you guys that are Betty Crocker following recipes are cringing right now, I understand it. Okay, so let's answer some of your questions. Um, okay, so anybody can get the $25 kit. If you're not a consultant, there haven't been one in six months. Good, okay. I'm gonna toss our chicken back here and turn up the heat a bit, so we're not quite done. All right, so let's, let's talk about what we can get when you're a consultant. So this month, we have two bonus offers. The Food Chopper, anybody have the Food Chopper at home? This one? You guys know Pamper Chef Sign Language? It's like, we have a uh, food chopper and we have mix and chop. And uh, I, I've seen this one too, like the little um, processor. What are your other ones? This, some people will go like, these things, these scissor things. I'm like, oh yeah, the, the salad choppers. Um, I'm looking here and I feel like everything I just mentioned is on this piece of paper, which is our consultant kit guide. Um, I'm cheating today because I wanted to show you this month they're doing these bonuses. So as a new consultant with Pampered Chef, you're gonna um, go to your consultant's website, pick the kit, $25 to start this month, or you can pick a kit, whatever. And um, you get 90 days with a, a website and web tools. So that comes with like our special uh, place to party. So you can do a virtual party on table. If you haven't seen that, ask your consultants about what is table. Um, and then we've got your website that also includes a newsletter done for you. And that's for 90 days. So my thought about starting Pampered Chef, and this is kind of my mentality when I first started, even though I wasn't a cook, I was like, I'll give it 90 days. I had a few friends that were uh, willing to do parties. And so I did um, oh, thank you, Cassie. Um, I did a party at my house and then I did like my best friend, my mom, my mother-in-law, like some of those folks that were like, sure, we'll help you learn how to cook, <laughs> you know? Um, and so when I, when I started the business, I was like, I'm just going to give it 90 days or until the parties run out and I will um, see if I can earn some of these things. So when I started these rewards that new consultants got, where they were great, you sold a certain amount and then you got a, a free gift. That's, that's what they have again this month. You can earn a free food chopper 
and the prep and store like the whole system. So if I could go back and join this month, I totally would. It is really good stuff. So tossing the chicken again if you can't see me. Does anyone have like a phobia to sticky fingers? I totally do. Marmalade is not your friend when it comes to that. All right, so this is our prep and store board. I'm not gonna go too much into detail, but I wanna show you some of the parts of it. And this is when you just do a few parties. So my thought, what I was gonna say is for the first 90 days, it's kind of like trying on the apron, right? For $25, man, you'd probably spend more than that on a 50% off item doing a party. So you may as well be a consultant, do your first party, and then you can qualify for all of these things. And we can give you the details if you have questions or you're curious about it. Uh, but the prep and store board comes with your cutting board and it has these little wire things that stick out. And if your counter isn't like mine, it, there's one you can do one on the side. And I have in here like my little carrot scraps and I saved the carrots to show you um, this fun little julienne. I feel like this is so overlooked. I, I became a superstar julienne peeler uh, fan because no one that I know can cut this thin. So I'm gonna use these in making my rice, all right? So that's the julienne peeler. And the idea here is I would take my, my carrots that are scraps there, and then I take my carrots and fill this up. So like at the beginning of the week, I could prep my, my onions, my celery, my bell pepper, my carrots, and then put them in this nifty little container it has these pucks that you can freeze so that you keep stuff cold out. But just in the fridge, if it's like a, a can case of soda, wood, and you can have everything prepped, it stays nice, it's ready to eat, so you can just put it into the stir fryer or whatever. And you don't have to go and cut vegetables and prep your food. You can just like put things together. It is such a time saver. So if you don't have this and you haven't, and, and you're on the fence about being a consultant, try on the apron for 90 days. You get the free website, you get uh, a chance to earn this guy. And um, if nothing else, like even if um, I was only allowed to be a consultant for 90 days, which it's been almost 13 years, so it's worked out okay. Um, somehow, right? Um, and I have lots of tips for you. If you have questions, uh, please pop them in the chat. But if I could only do it for 90 days, I feel like it would be worth it because I got so many free products that I didn't know that what they were or that I would even want them. And then I also learned so much as an individual. So it's not like, not, basically what I'm saying is I learned things that I, I couldn't have learned at my other job, right? I was working full time and I learned more personal and professional development, entrepreneurship, how to be uh, in sales without being salesy. I learned all of those things through the new consultant training with Pampered Chef. And I will tell you, it's only gotten better, guys. So if you are in this place where like you wanna learn and grow, you wanna have your own business, Pampered Chef is a great launching board for that. So whether or not it's the best fit for you, I hope it is. I, I was shocked that it was for me. But if you try on the apron, try a few parties, get all this free Pampered Chef goodies, get some you know commission coming in, you could make the decision at any point that, okay, I got what I needed out of it. And some people do that. Some people try on the apron and they find out it's really not for them. And that's okay too. We will always take you as a host or a customer and love on you, even if the apron doesn't fit you the way you want it to. And sometimes you'll find like me, it's like, this this works. I had no idea it would, but I wouldn't have known if I wouldn't have tried it. So um, I don't know. That's, that's about as, um, uh, that's kind of like my philosophy on it. Give it a try. And you know, your worst case scenario is you get a whole bunch of products, get some training, that's going to help you literally like tell me if you're watching and you're a consultant tell me something you've learned that you you can use outside of pampered chef because it's not just about cooking even though that does help you outside of a business but like how to be in leadership how to work with people how to word things and be kind how to take cues from you know the general public on if they are like feeling you or not you know what i mean do you know what i'm saying i hope i'm making any sense Hi guys, it's good to see you. I'm looking at the comments now. 
see if I have any questions. Yeah, tell us who invited you to um, watch this video. All right, cool. So let me tell you what I've got going on cooking-wise now because I've been spieling here for a little while. In my stainless wok, I've got that chicken, the cube chicken that I cut up with the professional shears. These, by the way, come in one of the kits. These are my favorite. I literally have four pair of them. Like I just, every time I have uh, my own party or I have an option, I will get a pair of these. They're, I think they're only like $20, but they come in the kit and our kits can be like 75% off when you do all the math. But the small tongs are my fave. And they are what I use inside my skillets and they stay closed. They love that part too. So in my 12 inch skillet here, I've got just, uh, I've just got it warming up and I'm gonna use my oil vinegar. I've just got oil in here. I'm gonna squeeze and get about a tablespoon. Actually, I'm making fried rice, so we're gonna do two tablespoons. So we're heating up that oil and before you got here, I actually rinsed some rice in the colander and I put it in my three quart micro cooker. Um, oh, I've got, I've got rice starch coming on me. Um, too bad you're not in the splash zone, huh? All right, so you see this? Rice is literally perfect. I hope you, I hope it's starting to um, focus on that. But this rice is absolutely perfect as is. I love a white rice, but tonight the family asked for me to fry it. So what I've got, and it's like a light fry, don't worry. Um, what I'm gonna do, I, I heated up two tablespoons of oil. We're just gonna put this in there, toss it around with some vegetables, kind of like a stir fry rice a pseudo fried rice, if you will. And it's really that easy. I I also want to show you this. This is my soy sauce. It's called Coconut Aminos. It is, um, it doesn't have gluten in it, so that's one of the reasons why I chose it. But I truly feel like it tastes just as, if not better, than um, soy sauce. I feel like it's got a little bit of a sweetness to it, which I never say is bad. And it's 45% less sodium than soy sauce and it's soy free. So if soy is an issue, maybe that's something for you. Um, and you probably would not add the edamame pure soybeans if that's your case. So I'm gonna just sprinkle on some of these coconut aminos and put in my edamame. And I'm gonna also add the carrots, which I will do here in just a second. Take my... I accidentally used both of my tongs with the raw chicken, so third pair coming out. All right, so we're just gonna toss the rice. I'm just getting the, the soy sauce stuff on it. And then what I'll do is turn that down all the way to low and pop the lid, pop the lid on it, all right? So that's just gonna like cook the rice a little bit. I'll stir it up a few times. And then to bring this all together to do the chicken. So now that our chicken has all white around it, and I wanna show you why I love this pan. You see how it, so it's easy to clean up and non-stick, I'm trying to grab a piece, but it also does this. It has that nice brown effect so you can sear things. Oh yeah, now we get excited about dinner. All right, so I'm gonna put my orange chicken uh, sauce here in on the chicken. Give that a quick toss. All right, so I just turned it down to a low heat. I covered everything by mixing it in the sauce. And then here's, here's, here's the best tip. All right, I'm a little easy read measuring cup. It's got one tablespoon of water in it. Okay, and I'm gonna take my tablespoon and grab some cornstarch, okay? I'm mixing one tablespoon water, one tablespoon corn tarts, corn starch, until it's, <laughs> until it's smooth. All right, this is your last chance to ask questions for me and I'll finish my story and we'll wrap things up. But this is really, this is how you get that sticky 
caramelized orange chicken. So if you grew up like I did, going to the mall, hanging out at the food court, and you always wanted Panda Express because it wasn't anywhere else. You could only get Panda Express orange chicken when you went to the mall. Anybody the same? Um, now I feel like I have two Panda Expresses within five minutes, so it's lost its luster. And like I said, I think this is better, but um, if you want that sticky, gooey, caramelized orange chicken stuff, this is your key. It's one tablespoon starch, cornstarch and one tablespoon water. You mix it up till it's smooth, okay? You'll know it's the right consistency because you don't want to make oobleck, which I've also learned about because I have children now. Oobleck! <laughs> She's like, let's make it. Sometimes I have to get new cornstarch because she'll make oobleck. Uh, but anyway, this is what you'll do and you just let it kind of uh, simmer in there and it thickens up very quickly. It might take... I don't know, 10 minutes, but this will all come together about the same time. But as it starts boiling, the sauce starts boiling, it will start getting sticky. And with my frozen edamame and rice, it's just a real light fry because I didn't put much oil in here. And then that will come, that will come together nicely. Okay, so as I kind of wrap up today, I hope you uh, like learning this recipe. It's pretty simple, right? Like you just have to um, be willing to give it a taste, right? I'm checking for questions. Okay, Angie says made her more confident as well. Awesome. Okay. All right, so to finish up, I, I know I shared... Giving Pampers Chef a try for 90 days is a no-brainer. You might not be ready for that, and that's okay. But I'm so glad you're in watching this um, to learn a little bit. So if you have questions about, like, what would it be like for this or what would it be like for that, the most common questions that I personally get are things like, how often do I have to make a sale? Or how, like, how do I, how do I learn how to do a party? Or like just things that you would be nervous about starting any new job, right? And it's good to have that information. It all is out here for you. Um, but what I would say is connect with your consultant, maybe even over the phone, but check out our um, online site. You can scroll through this, um, you can scroll through this uh, group and look around and see um, what questions you can come up with. But an average party, like you just do a party, you follow our systems that we already have in place, the training that's already in place for you. You don't have to figure this out on your own. Um, you'll have a ton of support with this team as well. Give it a try. And then as you have questions, because so many of us do online parties, you have the time to figure out, oh, that's a question, and then go find the answer and then come back because they don't know you don't know. Uh, so that, that has been really nice, but I'll say the thing that helped me the most when I was just beginning was having someone to do the business with. So, um, chatting, texting, messaging the person who got me started, and then also just getting out there and doing a party. So everyone loves Pampered Chef. So you really don't have to know much about the products themselves. You don't even have to be a cook. Um, but what I, the thing that was most helpful when I went to parties is I would just ask, what is your favorite product? It's gold because everyone loves Pampered Chef. In fact, I'll ask you, what's your favorite product? And you just watch these comments. I love the food chopper because blah, blah, blah. Like everyone will just sell it to you because we live in this five-star culture, right? We want to go look at the reviews, right? Like we want to read the reviews on everything. And when someone we know or someone that isn't a salesperson tells you how much they love something, it's, it's instantly trustworthy because you know it's being used in a home kitchen. So that's true for me. I love every product that I've shown you today. And, um, you know, it's really not about selling you this kit. It's, it's more about um, my heart to share what I've experienced. So if uh, anything I've said today has sparked some interest, be sure to chat with your consultant or myself, and I would love to answer your questions um, and welcome you to this amazing family. So um, someone asked me to show them show them the food or show me the food. And uh, that will be my reminder to take a picture. And let me see if we can show you this uh, stuff getting caramelized as well. 
I, I may as well turn it around here. <clears throat> okay, so already you see how it's starting to goo up and it's gonna start sticking to that chicken nicely. Oh, it's so good. I'm excited about dinner tonight. I'm glad they made me do this one. And then here's our, you know, quote unquote fried rice. Just kind of toss in. And I love, again, look how easy it comes. It's not sticking. Same thing with the, the chicken, right? Like it's just nice. It's not going to stick to it. It's easy to clean up. So that's, that is such a, such an, a fun part. And if you really want to make your family excited, uh, I don't know how to make crab ragoons, but you can go buy them. <laughs> Sometimes we do that. We'll do like frozen or we'll buy them from the, the, um, the local Chinese food on our way home. So anyway, thank you guys for being here. Make sure you drop any more questions you have. I can come back and answer in the chat and I'll go find the recipe for you. And um, we'll be back next week with another Wednesday demo for you. Uh, but hopefully by then we'll be welcoming you to our team. Have a great day.